Hey everyone, my name is Rui and we are here. This is going to be week number two, I believe, of the ICBA. And we are up against Johnny GB once again. We just played him very, very recently in the MPL. And we're back again with very, very different teams. Uh, this is an Uber's League, so we do have very different teams for each other. But, uh, it's they're very interesting matchups. I don't really particularly like my matchup, but I think I did the best that I could given the matchup that I had. Regardless... I'm going to take a screenshot here, and we are going to see the Roserade Galissapod, Rotom Wash, Haxorus, ne uh, Necrozma Dawnwings, and the Incineroar. So right off the bat, no Mega Diancie. No Mega Diancie is really wild to me. Uh, it makes sense, I guess, but it's still wild to see. No Porygon 2, which is mildly interesting. Um, no Cryogonal. No Cryogonal is interesting because I really did think that Cryogonal kind of shut down my Mamoswine a little bit. And no Registeel. Wow, no Registeel. Wow, no Registeel. Uh, it's going to be really hard to suss out a Scarfer here. Maybe the Roserade or the... Or the Rotom. I think... I think what I want to do is lead off with the uh, Thunderous here. Also, he did not have a ground type on his draft, so Volt Switch is very, very free here as well. Um, I was actually pretty darn tempted to uh, bring my Rotom as well, my regular Rotom, because uh, it it also has an opportunity to Volt Switch for free in this matchup, but I don't think that matchup particularly made sense here, so we're just going to rock out with this uh, here. As he leads off with his Rotom Wash, now... I can go turn one for a life or volt switch here and I think that's going to do a decent amount he probably is trying to counter lead my mammoth swine I think that's what that was I think that's what that was but volt switch here is remarkably free I think uh could go into the haxorus but I don't think he'd ever want to do that with my lele around um roserade is, might be his best play here does just allow me to get the Volt Switch off as we do about 40-ish percent. Uh, I want to, I think, I think that should pretty much confirm max defense. Just, that's my first reaction, but I don't know how accurate that is. A max special attack, Life 4, Volt Switch should do 45% minimum to... Rotom Wash, so it's definitely, oh, it could be Max Special Defense. Interesting. Max Special Defense is 36 to 44. That's 45, so no, it couldn't be. I did about 45-ish. So it has some, it's probably some type of mixed defense situation here. Regardless, uh, I think Ferrothorn is reasonably free. I think Ferrothorn is reasonably free here. Does he go for the Volt Switch? Yeah, he just goes for the Volt Switch. So that's going to allow in the Incineroar. And then from there, from there, um, we figure it out. But yeah, Incineroar was an easy play for him. That's fine, I think. That's fine, I think. I'm not even sure if he goes for the fire move here. I kind of do want to get a spike up. I kind of do want to get a spike up. Um, This doesn't do a whole lot against his team. Potentially the Rosary, but I'd be, but I'd be surprised if the Rosary doesn't pack HP fire. I honestly want to click spike here. I could also click Toxic. If anything, I think he clicks Knock Off. I think that's the most likely play right now. I think that's the most likely play right now. I'm, I'm going to click Spike. I really don't see him clicking Flare Blitz this turn. Goes for the knockoff. There we go. 
gets the iron barbs and does allow me to get up the spike. Um, so from here, from here he might go, he, he might go for the fire move. Infernate might be my play here? Is that crazy? Infernape also doesn't care about being knocked off. Incineroar. Uh, if it's a max defense Incineroar, take off the Intimidate. Close combat, yeah, close combat is dang near KO. Even max defense. And... Yeah, Flare Blitz does respectable damage, but HP on my Inferno doesn't matter a whole heck of a lot. So I think I just have to play off of that right now. Fire Punch. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Totally fair. But, I think that lets me, I think that lets me click U-turn. I think that lets me click U-turn. E I'm just gonna click U-turn. E I probably should have clicked Rocks right there. No, u turns better for the moment. I think momentum in this uh, section of the game is going to be a little bit more important here. However, Spikes plus Rocks would have been pretty nice here. Yeah, maybe that was a mistake. I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll have to figure that out. Um... What does that allow me to do here? I can try to go into Ferrothorn and get another spike up. Because at this point, I don't think... I, I think I can just give up Ferrothorn at this point. If I, Especially if I can get another spike up. Rotom could defog, but... Exposing his Rotom like that is reasonably risky just because... Uh, it checks my Mammoth Swine so well. I don't think it wants to play too recklessly with that Rotom. Does withdraw. Do we see the Rotom? We see the Roserade. He could potentially be trying to get up his own Spike? Toxic Spike, potentially? Toxic, toxic Spike would be pretty not great. Um, Would I want to go into Infernape right now? What do I want to go into Infernape right now? Part of me thinks I go into Umbreon here? I don't know. No, I have to make the more aggressive play. I think for sure the more aggressive play is the better play. I think for sure the more aggressive play is the better play here. I think it would have to be Infernape here. A little bit to dodge the uh, the toxic spike as well. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go into Infernape here. I have two layers of spike. And actually, this might be the opportunity to get rocks up as well. If he goes into the Rotom to try to defog them away, I do have the Z close combat. If he goes into the Incineroar, then I also have the Z close combat. Does go for the toxic spikes. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Now. That would limit his moveset to Giga Drain, Toxic Spike, probably Hidden Power Fire, almost definitely. And I'm gonna get Rocks up. Uh, yeah, Hidden Power Fire, almost definitely. And Toxic Spike. So that would leave him with not a lot to touch my Infernape. Which means whatever he switches in right now would be in a position to get really just hit really hard here if the dawn wings necrozma comes in then i have to go into uh umbreon that's pretty much non-negotiable i think uh even if i do have to come back in on toxic spike i don't think that matters if um if it comes down to that dawn wings necrozma in front of my inferno because I don't think I can KO just straight up with Flare Blitz. And even if I did, that would put me in a rough spot with HP. Um, but still, getting off a big Z-close combat, I think is going to be huge. Either against the Rotom, the Incineroar, 
does let me get up the rocks. Uh, does he just try to hit me or get up a second layer of spike? Toxic spike. Goes for sludge bomb. Interesting. Maybe trying to poison me. Oof, that does a dangerous amount of damage. That does a dangerous amount of damage. See, the thing is, if I switch out, then if I bring this thing back in, it can still revenge something later in the match. Which is interesting to me. But this is a potential win con, like, for straight up. I think... I think I have other ways of winning this match. So I think I just click Flare Blitz. He could switch into Haxorus, could go into the uh, Incineroar, but... Uh, regardless, if he goes into the Incineroar and I somehow take that recoil, then a follow-up Z-Close combat would be pretty nuts, but will let me get the Flare Blitz off. This will be a KO here. As I burn myself out, he could get a second layer of Toxic Spike up, which would be uh, pretty unfortunate. Uh, but no, he just goes down, so nothing too crazy. Um... Yeah, if I did switch out, then yeah, he could have gotten that second layer of Toxic Spike up, which would have been pretty bad. Uh, it's still not great, in all honesty. But I think the Rotom is most likely. I think I have to protect against the Rotom. So, well, and and regardless, being able to Volt Switch out uh, leaves my Thunderous my best option here. For sure, for sure. He could bring in the Galissapod, which would be unfortunate, but actually the Galissapod between Spike and... Did I get up two layer of spike? I don't remember, quite remember, but I think I might have gotten out two layer of spike. Does bring out the John Wings Necrozma. This is super interesting because he will take a decent amount of damage here. And that puts him under 70%. Dawn Wings Necrozma. Uh, I'm life orbed with Dark Pulse. If I give this thing max HP, then I potentially take this thing out if I give this thing max special defense then I still probably take this thing out I think I have to just click it could be Culverberry could 100% be Culverberry but I think I have to click Dark Pulse here I think if he goes for anything he goes for Calm Mind do we see the Culverberry we don't this should KO it does okay okay that's a huge huge threat out of the way and whatever comes in is going to take rocks and spikes so that I don't think anything really wants to come in here. I, don't, I think even the Galispot, if, if the Galispot comes in here, then... Uh... Um... He just wrote in Discord that he misclicked something. I'm gonna have to ask him later in the, uh, after the match what it was, but... Um... The Rotom is weak enough where we've seen that Thunderbolt can take that out. The Haxorus, I can Volt Switch on... And go into Lele. Lele is always going to be my safety blanket in that regard. Um. And. Yeah. Yeah, Thunderous is 100% my win con. But this has taken enough damage where. Actually, should I just Thunder Wave? He has to Dragon Dance. The thing is, he has to Dragon Dance in order to beat me here. I can Volt Switch. Just getting that extra damage, yeah. Getting that extra damage is going to be huge. I think... I have to remind myself of my Umbreon set. Uh, Dark Pulse, okay. Yeah, so... Uh, even just forcing him to take extra chip damage with my... With my... Um... Ferrothorn is going to be huge. I don't know if he has a move that can KO me right off the bat... Um, I don't remember how defensive I made this thing, but if we can take a hit here, then that would be best case scenario. But regardless, I think all I need is a little bit of chip damage. And from this range, Gyro Ball should get the KO if he tries to drag it. Oh, it does have the superpower. That's interesting. That's fun. Okay. Okay. I, I like that. I like that. Um, now I super duper wish that I had the... That I had the Ice Shard on my Mammoth Swine, but I don't. I do not. Uh, regardless, I think Umbreon takes a hit, right? I, I, my Umbreon is really specially defensive, but I think... 
If especially if this thing's at neutral. Haxorus. A dragon dancing Haxorus. Um, yeah, it looks like even Dragon Z Outrage. Yeah, we should even take a Dragon Z Outrage. And yeah, Dark Pulse should do enough in this situation. Um Oh wait no, this thing has superpower. This thing's gonna try and hit me with superpower. This thing's gonna try and hit me with superpower. He would need Z superpower in order to KO me. He would need Z superpower. But then if he burns Z superpower on Umbreon, then he can't Z superpower um Mamoswine, and I would imagine we take one. But who knows? That's not that's not uh That's not set in stone at all. I just clicked Dark Pulse here. As long as we take a, a superpower, potentially a Z superpower, then we should come out of this interaction fine. It is a Z move, but again, it's Dragon Z. We should take this fine. We should take this fine. Uh, I don't think there's any reason we don't take this fine. And in fact, it's actually best case scenario that, um, that, uh, we probably get taken out to poison. We're not going to get taken out to poison, but if we did get taken out to poison, that probably would have been best case scenario because that would allow my Thunderous in for free and, and, and not allow his Rotom a free turn to defog. But as it is, it looks like his Rotom is going to be able to defog here. But that's also going to allow me to click Wit. So, if he brings in Rotom to Defog, right? He does. Okay. Um, He clicks Defog. I click Wish. He clicks Defog. I click Wish. And that will allow me... Um, that will allow me to get taken out by Poison. And then... And then heal up my Thunderous on the Switch in which will then oh and also that that, that allows my mammoth swine to do to start um doing some damage although mammoth swine doesn't do much for this end game other than than the incineroar the 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 mammoth swine is will, would be important for the incineroar so that we'll put him at above half but i don't think that's going to matter too too much because we've seen how much damage that um that volts we don't get taken out okay I think, I think I'm safe enough to go into, to go into Thunderous here? Is that a thing? Am I safe to go into Thunder? I don't think I am. I'm going to click Toxic. If he tries to switch in something crazy, goes for Light Screen. I think that's fine. Um, we can wait out Light Screen, I think. I'm not worried about that. Unless he avoids... Okay. Wish does, does come true. If this is just an aggressive light screen Rotom, then... Actually, no. I don't care. I think I... I think I, uh... Try to toxic this thing down every time. I think I just try to... Wait out the... Wait out the... The turns of light screen... And then, I, if Tornadus can come back in here when this Rotom has a decent amount of damage onto it, then I can potentially win this match still. And he can't bring in anything that would want to take a Toxic, so he does Volt Switch. I think that's fine. Uh, I think I still survived the turn, funnily enough. But I don't think he... I think he brings in Galispot, yeah, because he doesn't want Incineroar to get Toxic here. And I think that's fine. He's going to take me out with a, with a bug move. He's going to take me out with a bug move. I think I misplayed hard by bringing in Umbreon. I misplayed really, really hard by bringing in Umbreon. I should have... I should have just risked it with Lele. I think I would have been fine bringing in Lele. Uh, but I'm just going to let him take me out. I'm going to attempt to get up a wish, but 
Now I think if I get up a wish, then, um, oh, I outspeed and get up a wish. So he's going to take me out here. Goes for the leech life. That's totally, totally fine. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit surprised he didn't try to go for the first impression. But that's going to heal up my... That's going to heal up my... Hmm. Actually, let me see something. Galissapod. An offensive Galissapod against my... Against my Lele. Yeah, it actually does way too much damage to my Lele. Okay. So yeah, I just heal up my Thunderers here. And I can get Aqua Jetted, but... Uh, I'm gonna get health back at the end of the turn. And I don't think there's any reason not to just click Thunderbolt here. And I think this Mon might actually be the last... The last thing that threatens my my Tapu Lele, because now my Lele can come in and start to do some damage. Uh, we get back up to full. And I wonder what this is going to allow in the Incineroar. That's totally fine. Uh, it would be funny if we were Defiant. It would be really funny if we were Defiant, but um, we are Prankster. I think I can pretty freely just click Volt Switch here. Does he have Fake Out? No. Okay. Uh, that does nothing. Um, does he still have Light Screen up? Maybe. Regardless, we'll go for the Fire Punch. Um, doesn't okay amount, but this thing could have a superpower as well. This thing could have superpower as well. The light screen does wear off. You're a very sick man. If he does have superpower, I could set up a sub here. No, I, I don't think it ever makes sense. I think I just click Earthquake here. But I think the only way he wins is by going out into Rotom right now. So part of me thinks I clicked knockoff right now. I'm gonna click it. Does withdraw. Yeah, that's the only way he wins, I think. And I think uh, this play right here is the play that I had to make. What I should have probably done more so than that was click um, sub in this situation, but I think we'll be okay. Now, also, judging by the fact that this is very likely a defensive Rotom, I think I should be able to outspeed it and get a sub off, but... But, uh, that... I could sub until he misses a Hydro Pump, which would be fun, but... Who knows? I'm gonna try to go to Jessica for the Toxic. There you go. There we go, there we go, there we go. This is pretty much the interaction that I uh, kind of expected, but... That should allow me to take this thing out with two... with two... knockoffs. And... The mattress... okay. Fair, that's okay. Uh, so... He, he does forfeit. That will be, I believe... That, that'll be a 3-0 win... Uh, I made it a lot more difficult than it had to be by going into the Umbreon. I think if I had just gone into my Lele, I would have been a lot better off, especially since he had to pack the superpower. He had superpower, a dragon move uh, with a Z, dragon dance, and potentially poison jab, but even then, he wouldn't have room for, like, earthquake or anything like that, so uh, even if he did have poison jab, uh, that would have severely limited his other options, but uh, that's probably going to be a GG right there. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with more weeks of the ICBA, as well as more weeks of the APA Academy and the MPL. Uh, he just mentioned me on Discord and said that he had nothing to break sub, which, uh, thinking back, does make sense. Uh, I, it makes sense if Volt Switch was his only um, attacking move. Volt Switch, maybe dual screens and Toxic.
If that was his full move set, then yeah, he had nothing to ever break a Mammoth Swine sub, which uh, I guess makes sense for the sake of the forfeit. But I think I was two, three to four moves away from winning the match because I can knock off twice to KO the 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 uh, Rotom, and then I can Earthquake once or twice in order to take out the Incineroar, and he would not have gotten the Intimidate because I was behind a sub. So. Uh, that's going to be week two. We do come out with a 3-0 win. Uh, I like how the win shaped out, except for just my dang Umbreon misplay. I think that was a really bad play on my part. I could have put on so much more pressure if I would just gone into my dang, um, into my dang Tapu Lele. And I, I wanted to put Tornadus, I wanted to put Thunderous in a position where it could put on the type of pressure that it needed to put on because it was such a good win con in this matchup. But I think that's going to be it for me. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. It's going to be once again out.